Hey, what's up, Street Talks? Eric Kim from the Eric Kim Street Photography God. So, I want to give you guys a quick overview on how you could use your friend, the iPad, and incorporate this into your photography workflow. So, personally, I've been using all my computing stuff on the iPad. And the reason why I've been preferring to use the iPad rather than using a desktop is that it's a lot more mobile and actually it's a lot faster. So, to just kind of walk you through, so the first thing you need is this little lightning SD cable. It's kind of expensive, but it works really damn well. And all you have to do is take your digital camera. So here I got my best friend, the Ricoh GR version 2, my favorite digital camera for photography. Anyways, what I just do is pop open the bottom, take out the little SD card, I actually recommend Transcend, it's cheap and it seems to work quite well. And take this, plug it into your lightning cable, and then this whole little dual key right here, oops, plug that to the bottom of this. Wait one second, the hot water is boiling, gotta turn that off. Anyways, so, you can see this little import module comes and you just let it chill out for a second. Alright, back in business. So, now you can see there's this import module of all these different pictures that I've shot. And by default, usually what I do is I'll just click the import all in the top right corner and the Apple Photos app. So you can see all the little plus signs showing up means that it's being properly imported. And one thing I really love about the Apple Photos app is just it's so clean, it's so simple, it's so streamlined, it's very fast. And a lot of you guys might be wondering, you know, do I have to use Lightroom? No, you could just use uh, the Photos app if it's uh, simple enough for you. So this is the million dollar question is, import complete, would you like to delete the imported uh, photos from the attached camera. Do you want to delete or keep? So My personal recommendation is it's an ultimately a, um, uh, a Personal decision so for the sake of it now, I'm just gonna keep it on the SD card So I'll just click keep anyways, so you click uh, that now what you could do is you could just kind of see this little navigation. So after I do this, I'll just unplug this little dongle. And usually I like to just kind of go to my photos, albums, back albums. So you, there's this little module here called last import. So you could quickly scan through all your photographs here. Or you could just go to all photos and then you could look through the pictures one by one. So there's different there's different ways you guys could do this. So one of the things that I recommend you to do is if you just want to keep it super super simple, realize that you don't have to use any third party apps. You could just use it all on the iPad. So I'll just kind of scroll through these images one by one. Or what you could even do is you could look at the images as small thumbnails and determine which one you like in terms of the composition whatever. So if you just want to keep it very simple, let's say you're just kind of scrolling through these images one by one. Let's say you find an image that you like. Usually what I'll do is, if I'm just trying to keep it really simple, I'll just scroll through these really quickly. And just follow my gut whenever I see an image that I really like. So I just shot a bunch of pictures of this. Go through these one by one. So let's say my gut says I kind of like the angle here. So let's all I have to do is press the image here in the top right corner. So essentially, there is this little. Uh, I guess you can't see it here, but essentially you could press. Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't it doesn't show up. Anyways, in the top right corner, I press the little heart. And what you could even do is if you're using a different app like Adobe Lightroom CC, 
you could click the little filters, no filter. Let's see, where are all the pictures that are shot? And please bear with me, I'm still kind of new to the software. Anyways. Oh, I wonder where my pictures are. Oh yeah, because I haven't imported them yet. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, I'd like to access your camera. Sure, allow. What's going on there? Whatever. Anyways, I'll just import the pictures from my camera raw. So I'll just press the little send button and click more. Whatever. I'll just just choose the Im image here to import. Plus there. Let's say click done. So I'm importing. Yeah, anyways, I imported the picture into Lightroom CC. And you could see the different presets I could apply. So there's that nice little hipster matte. Vivid, which really brightens the colors. Punchy detail, which I'm actually a personal fan of. The high contrast. Or the natural. So let's say I like punchy detail. Then I'll click done. In the top right corner, click save to camera roll. Maximum available. And let's then ultimately let's say I want to save it to Dropbox or whatever. But usually I'll just keep it in my, my camera roll. And here is the final image. And if I want to upload it, I'll click Safari, upload. Yeah, I haven't typed this in yet. What I'll do is I'll open up Dropbox. And then I'll choose a folder where I wanted to save it. So I'll go to Pictures 2017, Berlin version 3, press the little plus, upload photos, and all the way, let's see. Actually, what I might do instead is when the photos look at the picture, top right corner where it says share. Press Dropbox, save to Dropbox on the bottom. And then I'll choose a folder, Pictures 2017, Berlin version 3. Choose, and I'll title this Berlin Coat. Berlin Coat in window and then it's uploading to Dropbox hmm okay I don't know why that was so long anyways so yeah essentially that's how I very basic workflow but ultimately know that using the iPad and the new little dongle is a good way to help simplify your photography and once again realize that my practical suggestion is using, don't just tr trust all your pictures into the Apple Photos app. Also recommend using Dropbox because if you ever want to access some on your, your laptop, uh, you'll make life a lot easier. All right, thanks for a lot for watching guys. Peace out.